Hello everybody and welcome back to round zero. I hope you all are having a joyous day today throughout this quarantine. Hope you guys are doing well. And today I want to talk about a boxing fight that is postponed. It was supposed to happen on April 28th. It is the Artur Betterbiv versus Meng Feng Long. Hopefully I said that right. If not, then Google lied to me. But anyway, let's get started, shall we? Let's get these guys' uh, records out here. We have the WBC, IBF, and lineal uh, light heavyweight champion of the world, Artur Betterbiv, which I'll be calling Sir Arthur because I want to and, and because I think it's great and I just made it up. So, uh, his current record is 15 wins, zero losses and all of them by KO his reach is 73 inches let's go on to the next fighter Meng Feng Long his record is 16 wins zero losses with 10 KOs and his reach is 75 and a half inches so slightly longer than Sir Art so that would be uh, Feng Long's advantage uh, but I love these uh, these fighters. Uh, these both of them have a great record, and they're both undefeated. And I just like when boxers come head to head with an undefeated record. It it, it makes up with good paper, a good fight, and I know uh, both of these uh, guys are gonna give it their all. Now, uh, Sir Arthur does have a 100% KO rate, so you know that he is just in it just a powerful and destructive fighter I like how uh, he uh, like the first couple of rounds he leaves uh, leads with his jab uh, jabs into his opponent uh, and like comes up with a right a nice right hook and uh, and then he follows up with, with either a body shot or an uppercut he, he's really uh, an, an, an active boxer uh, he really doesn't lose concentration throughout the fight either uh, he'll be getting hit and he knows when uh, when he's going to land on his opponent. And one thing I do like about him that uh, he's, he's he switches it up. He switches up from uh, leading and then waiting as well. You know, he he will go on for one round or two, and he'll first like start off. He'll be the attacker, and then in the other rounds he'll uh, actually uh, wait and see out like what uh, his opponent let him get through his combinations and then come up with an overhand right or a nice uh, body t uh, to the right as well uh, those are those are probably uh, his best uh, his best weapon in his arsenal he just KOs everyone with a nice it's either an overhand right or a nice uh, uh, right body shot and he has great endurance as well he can uh, withstand the punches that are coming at him. He really doesn't let his uh, like let uh, people get into his rhythm at all, and he just stays focused, stays on task, and sees the road ahead. And he's always just aiming, just ever like just drive to always win, and uh, uh, like excelling in the sport of boxing. So I like a lot about that uh, about with uh, Sir Art. Going on to Feng Long, uh, he's definitely more loose uh, in his style. He's a soft parlor, uh, by the way. And I'm so being, I'm still gonna call uh, throughout every time I talk about soft parlors, I'm still gonna be referring uh, his jab hand as left and his straight hand as right. It just makes it easier for me. So on to the actual fighter Feng Long. Um, he is, as I was saying, uh, he's very loose his punches uh he has a pretty nice jab um i like how he uh he puts it in front of his arm to see his distance all the time he, he does it very loosely and he always comes up with uh like a quick uh right or left uh combo uh, to the face or to the body uh he, he's definitely i'll say a little bit faster than sir art and uh he can see uh he definitely moves around with his hands more definitely swings uh has a little bit more uh like a quickness to it when he does uh when feng long does uh his combinations uh, i would say that he sometimes does leave like his left 
open. I would say that his that is his a uh, that's uh, his big uh, weakness is his left. I saw a lot of fighters going into and uh, when he when he's throwing that jab consistently, uh, uh, his opponents will come in and then shoot for the body or towards the head, and he uh, he just needs to work uh, a little bit harder on that for him, so that he doesn't you know get you know knocked down by Sir Art you know, and he uh, he has really you know he has to use uh, his length to his advantage. Um, and I like that it, it's seen throughout his fights that he does that and he wants to keep his distance and he comes in boom that's a quick uh, like hook or starts off with his jab like one two three three jabs and then he comes in and like mixes it up with a, with a hook or a, or a body shot and uh, really lets uh, his opponent keep distance so it's conclusion time Sir Art is, will definitely want to engage in this fight uh he did pretty well in his last fight which had the same length uh, his opponent had the same length as feng long and he was just being consistent as long as he keeps being consistent going in from the inside throwing those powerful punches his over his best move his overhand right to counter as well as his low right body shot um the things that he needs to be careful with is definitely when when uh, uh when feng long is dis distancing himself from him just uh dodge bob and weave keep pursuing him keep chasing after him making sure that he doesn't uh get into his rhythm and making sure that he corners Feng long and he doesn't uh, slip up his uh, defense at all he has a really good defense sir art uh he just needs to keep it up better and just be strong and keep moving forward um Feng long uh definitely needs to improve that uh like that left that he leaves open because Sir R is going to definitely take that, uh, you know, as an advantage. You know, he's going to try and come in and knock him out with a nice uh, left hook to the face or to the body. Um, he definitely should just keep consistently going in and out using his jab as always as his link and assertive kind of, uh, of a blocking, making sure he doesn't like making sure like sir arthur doesn't like extend that overhand right and make sure that he lands up uh, definitely move around him uh feng long needs to i don't know if he's going to tire him out but definitely just come in boom 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 one two all right come out let me see and keep always maintaining his distance and making sure that he's staying within his rhythm and uh not you know the other way around so uh what do you guys think who you, who do you think it, it will win once this uh fight comes back because i can't wait I, I can't wait to see this fight um i think slightly upper hand sir art has it i think he's just has just this presence of him of of drive that that he's going for and uh and I believe he's going to get win uh, by KO. He definitely doesn't want to lose his streak. So he's going to be thirsty for it. But hopefully that doesn't make him slip up. Uh, I think Long Feng is still going to give up uh, a pretty good fight as well. Because I mean he's undefeated. We can't uh, discount him either. But I think in the long run. I think in the end. Uh, uh, Sir Art will come up and win uh, by KO. If in fact if he doesn't. Uh, if Feng Long doesn't improve with like his left and his defense of like that left so there you go so what do you guys think uh please leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel i want to know your thoughts about these two fighters or who has a better advantage or who's going to win about this fight and uh i hope you guys are doing well and that's it for this round guys you know until next time uh later